Hi guys, how are you doing? So today we're going to take a look at the Corsair SF600. This is an SFX power supply. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick it into our Fractal Design Nano S, which is a mini ITX build. Um, we're going to unbox it. I'm going to talk about it. We're going to install it. Let's do it. Right, so if we have a quick look around the box, um, you'll see that it's an SF600 Platinum Plus. Yes, seven year warranty with Corsair which is very nice. Now recently they did have an issue which they did a recall on. When I say recently, I think it was probably a year ago, um, but that only came to light um, earlier in the year. Um, this one's fine. Um, so just obviously check, if you have bought one in the not too recent past, just check on the, the Corsa website and they, they're doing a free recall from what, I, um, from what I gather. So yeah, so let's uh, open it up. Right, let's get your usual installation guides and stuff like that. What do we have here? We have some cable ties. We have a, a little badge there with Corsair on it, powered by Corsair. A few screws and they'll be very handy. And we have, so this is your ATX bracket. So essentially um, the, this allows you to put your power supply into an ATX slot. Now we're actually gonna be using this today um, because our case is um, default um, ATX power supply. We put an SFX in it, so um, we're definitely gonna be using that. We have our plug, which is uh, always handy. And we, have, and, we have our, and we have our cables. So we have our cables. Now, the difference between the gold and the platinum version, other than the rating, is the cables. Now, the gold, I've used it a few times and I've used the platinum a couple of times. And I would sincerely advise you to get the platinum because the cables are just so much nicer, they're easier to root, and they just they just make a you know, your machine look nicer looking. So definitely get the platinum if you can. It's probably about 10 to 15 pound more expensive but with um supply being quite difficult at the moment you may not be able to get a hold of that i'm very lucky in that i got this so we have a look at the uh the unit itself it's, it's very nice got a power switch at the back there some nice information. Top, yeah. And then here, okay, so we've got room for the 24 pin, a couple of um, like static cables, and obviously your um, Molex. I think we have a Molex in there. We have a couple of cables for um, for GPU. They're individual cables, so they don't daisy chain, and we've got a CPU as well. So yeah, so it's, it's, like I said, it's a very nice unit, very small. I'll put the information up on the screen as to uh, its dimensions. Yeah, that's uh, there's only one thing to do, and that is let's go install it. Guys, so the installation was fairly straightforward. Um, to be honest, I'm gonna have to get um, some extensions. The 24 pin and the eight pin are not quite long enough. Now, I have been able to get the eight pin in, but it's not ideal. So I'll just get a little um, like a 20, 30 centimeter extension on each of those. And you know, it'll be absolutely fine. Cause the, the 24 pin especially is gonna get in the way of the GPU and obviously that's not gonna work. Now, obviously the power supply, 
cables are going to be absolutely fine in different builds but because this build is slightly larger than the uh, the, the normal itx i've just run into a couple of difficulties it's not a problem um, and i'm going to resolve that quite soon guys so this has just been a quick video i'm going to link in the description the full build video that's going to be installing everything so hopefully you can kind of get some more information and maybe even a little bit more footage in there if you enjoyed the video you liked it give it a thumbs up think about subscribing and i'll see you in the next one